Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Game Feed, and you're probably watering pants. Why is there another video out so soon? You just put one up like 20 minutes ago. Well, there's a reason for it. Um, I said I was going to try to get as much content out this week as possible, so without further ado, I figured might as well go ahead and get something else out since it's still fresh on my mind. And the thing I wanted to talk about is E3 again. Why E3? Because I don't think I talked enough about it. And the thing I wanted to talk about was my games of show. What were the games I was definitely excited about? And what I plan on buying? Not pre-ordering. No pre-order. No. Except for Fallout. Yeah. But I have five. Five games on the list that I want to talk about. Not extensively, just for a couple of minutes. But my first game of show was obviously Final Fantasy VII Remake even though there wasn't really much shown except for that brief trailer, it was still enough to get me excited, get me pumped to know what's coming. The only thing that scares me is if it's going to change like dramatically. I don't want a Final Fantasy 13 system or battle system. I don't want there to be, you know, I don't want it to be super cheesed. I want just, I want it to be great. And I know everybody else does. It's one of those great games that's been out there for a long time and it's probably close to a lot of people's hearts so yeah that's number one uh, number two is definitely Doom I don't know if it's considered a reboot but I think it's a reboot um, I've been excited for Doom I've been wanting more Doom since Doom 3 and uh, I played uh, the BFG edition a while back uh, just to go through it again and I'm excited um, the particle effects, the graphics, the visceral gameplay and the brutality was amazing I want more of that. It felt like Doom. It didn't feel like uh, Call of Duty. It felt like I'm playing Doom again. And that's why the guys am excited. If you get a chance to check it out, check it out for sure. Um, number three, uh, Fallout 4. Fallout 4 is going to be amazing. Um, I'm excited for that. Everybody is. I put numerous hours into Fallout 3, all the expansions, as well as New Vegas and all these expansions. I'm currently playing the shit out of uh, the um, Overseer um, Bolt, uh, that game, <laughs> on the iPad. Uh, it's fun. I, I love Fallout. I can't wait to sit there for an hour trying to figure out what my character is going to look like in a mirror. Uh, it's going to be really awkward. Um, can't wait to get into vats, explore the wastelands, and just get back in that world as soon as possible. I currently plan um, Bethesda's latest, which is Elder Scrolls Online Tamriel Edition. It's kind of getting that scratch. It's kind of getting it, but Fallout, it's, that's going to be it. That's going to be my life. But then again, I get married when that comes out, so I'm not going to get to play it right away. But hopefully my wife will let me play it as a gift? I don't know. Um, number four, uh, definitely, I have to say Halo 5 Guardians, as you know, I love Halo. Halo was probably one of my game favorite game series of all time. Uh, I know the Master Chief Collection was, uh, it was broken. It was fucking broken. I'm not, I, I can't be in denial over it, but it works now. It works now. Um, the campaigns, they work fine for the most part when it came down. It was just a multiplayer, which you know, I used to be okay with the multiplayer. Halo 2 and 3, I played a lot of it. Um, 4, I didn't play too much multiplayer. The only thing I really concern myself with is the campaigns, which is something I love. I love the story. I love the lore, and I can't wait to play more of it. And last but not least, uh, the big one. And this is a very obvious list. These are the big five games. I've probably got Game of Show for every single uh, site. <laughs> so, uh, mine, again, Battlefront 3. Um, I love ba I love Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, played the shit out of number two. Uh, played number one when it came out. I think whenever number two came out, uh, I got it on the original Xbox, and I played hours and hours. Me and my friends would just sit there. and play. I think it had four-player split screen even. But we just play, play, and play, and play. And I even catch myself on Steam playing it. Um, I just play bots and it has me really excited um, seeing it running on DICE's uh, engine and I, you know, I like Battlefield so Battlefield mixed with Star Wars that's definitely something I'm excited about. Um, this is going to be a short, this is kind of a short video. I don't want to go much too much more in depth but that's what I thought. Those were my games to show. Tell me what your games to show were. What are you expecting to come out this year? Um, I don't think a lot of things are coming out this year. A lot of it's next year. Um, but 
tell me what you think. What, what was your game of show? What are you waiting for? Uh, what do you plan on buying in the future? And uh, tell me what you thought about each conference. I might do another follow-up of um, going more in-depth of smaller titles or titles that didn't quite grab me, but they were still there. Um, so check them out. Um, probably later tomorrow i hope maybe not i don't know but guys thank you so much if you like the content and if you agree with my list or if you have a totally different list let me know in the comments be sure to hit subscribe and if you want to check me out on streams or twitch whatever go to twitch.tv forward slash the panto six check me out there and i also have a facebook group you can join as well guys thank you so much for checking us out and i love you i mean it like i totally love you well, not to the point where I'd marry you, but I, I love you for a follow. But if you don't follow, so I'm, I might love you. But anyways, take it easy, guys.